I'm like, wow, I got here in 1999, and how did I not know that already? And Out of all the countries I've visited, I have to say Taiwan is the best in my opinion, for that. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Wes Davies here. I've got a really special one for you guys today. I'm joined by two of my very, very good friends here in Kaohsiung. And the concept of this video, I want to talk about the future. You know, we always talk about how much we love Taiwan, why we love living in Taiwan, but I think we often forget to talk about what our future plans are, or if we can stay in Taiwan forever, or a couple more years, or why would we choose Taiwan, or going back home, for example. So I've got some really great guests today. I'm sure you know who they are. Let's go say hi. So here are my friends. Of course, you know Uncle Topher, Chris, and then Taiwan stalwart Cole Fogel. The reason I wanted to interview you guys specifically is because we actually have a big, huge, almost like a Taiwan age range here. You've been in Taiwan, Cole, for about 25 years. It's been a few minutes, yeah. And you have a wife here, you have a family, you've lived in multiple cities. You are basically as expert as they come when it comes to Taiwan. I mean, I definitely know Taiwan in a very intimate way. And then Topher, yep. you've actually been here less than a year. You're yep. kind of like a Taiwan baby. I am a total noob. I've, I'm coming up on my one year, yeah. As I mentioned in the intro, I've talked a lot about how much I love Taiwan. Everyone's talked about how much they love Taiwan. But what we haven't really talked about is maybe the future. Cole, let's start with you. As someone who's lived here for a quarter century, what are your future plans in Taiwan? I don't know why, but Back to the Future came into my mind when you said that. Like, <laughs> suddenly I was like gonna go, Great Scott Marty! Great Scott! But no, if we're talking about the future, I could see myself settling down in Taiwan, somewhere in Mainong, Taidong, Hualien. I mean, I could see the rest of my life being here in Taiwan. Do you miss home at all? Do you miss Canada? I miss Canada very much, but it's one of those places where I'm happy to visit, but I'm always really happy to leave at the same time and happy to come back to Taiwan. It's a bit too cold for me. I wouldn't want to spend too many winters there, especially as I get older, so. How about your kids? You've taken your kids back to Canada. What do they feel? They would love to spend more time in Canada, but I think Taiwan, they know Taiwan more than they know Canada. So at this point, they're happy to be here, but they definitely have shown interest in exploring Canada more, I would say at this point. Okay, so they yeah. feel comfortable in Canada, but they still think Taiwan is their home, would you say? Yeah, I mean, my son spent one year going to school in Canada, but that was like kindergarten. And how about you? Which one feels like home for you? Oh, definitely Taiwan. Mm. Yeah, no, I mean, I've spent most of my adult life here, like all of my adult life here. Yeah. I mean, I moved here when I was like 20, 21 years old. I've spent more of my life here than I have in Canada. So I would say for that reason, my, my most impressionable years from my 20s on have been here. My cats, I'll start with them. My wife, my kids, everything that matters to me has happened here. Of course I miss my family, but I'm always happy to go home for a visit and return to Illa Formosa. But how about you, Topher? You yeah. just got to Taiwan, you're a Taiwan newbie, yes. but also you're kind of carving out this new life for yourself. Oh, definitely. With your teaching job, and then now with your YouTube channel, which is doing very well. Yes. Congratulations. Thank you so much. What are your future plans? I left the USA and started exploring different parts of Asia because I, I wanted to find a place that was basically a safe, comfortable place to grow old in. Out of all the countries I've visited, I have to say Taiwan is the best, in my opinion, for that. You know, the moment I landed in Taiwan, I just kind of felt at home. I'd never had that sort of fish out of water feeling that, oh my God, what am I doing here? How am I gonna make a life here? It hasn't even crossed my mind. I just know what I need to do. I need to get better at Chinese, obviously. I need to start studying. Taiwan has been so welcoming. It seems to me like a great place to, like you said, Cole, settle down. It's, yeah. a, good play, it's a good place to raise kids. I mean, yeah. you can use me as an example. And I enjoy hanging out with people that are new here to, to experience Taiwan through your new eyes, which I appreciate. Well, thank you. And yeah. you know, we're both in our mid 40s getting up there yeah <laughs> looking we, pretty good we both got gray in Thank our you. beard so it's something you have to think about yeah. how do you want to spend the next four decades of your life it's funny Wes is asking me this because like 
I can't think beyond like a week generally. <laughs> <laughs> but 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 it's a good question to like really think about like what what sort of like future. And I I have I, I like genuinely before he asked me this, I have thought about this a lot, and, and definitely it makes sense on so many levels to be here. Oh yeah, it has uh, great health care. Oh amazing. It's very supportive for the elderly. It's very welcoming. It's easy for me to find income as I age, it's not a problem. The cost of living isn't terrible. You know, it's not as cheap as other places I've lived, but it's way less expensive than the USA. And Canada, for yeah. that matter. Yeah Canada, oh, yeah, Canada just keeps going up and up and up, and I'm just grateful that things are moving up here, but not quite at the speed that Canada or America is going, so mm. yes. So you guys may have seen the video I filmed a couple of weeks ago. My Canadian friend, my pharmacist friend, he came to Taiwan for about a week and he actually sat me down and I don't want to say told me horror stories about what it was like back in Canada, but really in the last three, four, five years in Canada, things have just gone out of control inflation wise. So he was saying things that cost $2, you know, six years ago when I left Canada, now they cost $5 or $6. In some cases, the prices have tripled. And especially when it comes to rent, it's just getting harder and harder to find affordable housing. Whereas in Taiwan, I mean, I have got a beautiful little apartment and I really don't spend that much money on it. Compared to Canada, I would probably be spending three times as much for something that maybe isn't even, you know, as close to downtown where I live. So does that weigh on your guys' mind when you think about your future? Is that one of the reasons why you want to stay in Taiwan? I I'm gonna sound silly, but I'm being serious. Like, if you go to Dairy Queen in Canada, like, I buy my son an ice cream. I went home for a visit last year, and it was like 200 NT for two ice cream cones, and I can go to like 7-Eleven or Family Mart and pay like, I don't know, 60, 70 NT for two ice cream cones. Right. As an example of inflation, the money alone it gives me so much purpose for being here. I think a large part of it is also what they call greedflation. Corporations can increase the prices and they know that the market will uh, accept it, will tolerate it, they will. You know, they're in business to make yeah. money and that's what happens. And in places like the US, it sometimes gets out of control. And you can compare the exact same restaurant. You can look at a McDonald's, a Big Mac meal or whatever, the exact same food that you're getting at a McDonald's in Taiwan compared to the exact same food you're getting at a McDonald's in the USA. And the beef is still American beef, Yeah. right? The beef here is coming from the USA, a lot of it. It's gonna be three times sometimes it's, it's as unreal. expensive as yeah. in the US, depending on where you're going. At least twice as expensive. Easily. And it's the same food. So before I wrap this up, uh, Topher, yeah. I never really asked you, what's your relationship with the United States and Colorado? I mean, you left searching for a new life here in Asia. Right. Was that because you don't wanna live in America anymore or is it just because you wanted a little bit more adventure in your life? Oh wow, this is a big question. One of the things that I really like about living abroad is that every day is a little bit of an adventure. Mm -hmm. Okay, I get to experience life almost through like a child's eyes as I'm learning the language, I'm learning how to navigate the society. Even a mundane problem that is solved becomes like a victory. I second that even after all the years of living here, maybe since I started my YouTube channel, like I'm learning new things every day yeah. here. I'm like, wow, I got here in 1999 and how did I not know that already? You know, yeah. like just these new adventures that I go on. Or certain foods that you never yes. really paid any attention to. Right. Yeah. Now you realize, oh, I actually really like that. How did yeah. I not notice that before? Like pig ear. Right. Sounds weird, right? Tour. Yeah. Tour door. It's so good. Yeah. <laughs> Really tasty. As an example. <laughs> anyway, I wanted to keep this one light, positive, you know, talking about the future. And I did say we weren't going to talk about how much we love Taiwan, but hey, we went there anyways because... We live here for a reason, right? We live here for a reason. And I think the future is going to be bright. The future is going to be bright, as long as we have a positive attitude. That's the key, really. Yeah. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, thank you for joining me today. Actually, it's Topher's birthday. That's why we're down here celebrating. Happy so birthday, brother. Everyone wish him happy birthday down in the comments. And go subscribe to Uncle Topher. Go subscribe to Cole Fogel. And subscribe to my channel if you are new here. Thanks you. Thanks you. Thanks you. Thank you very much. And please subscribe. Please like. And yeah, we're, we're just going to go have fun now. Let's go. Yeah, yeah, let's <laughs> I don't know why you're cracking me up today. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Bye-bye.
See ya. Goodbye, neighbor.